We're going to turn now. We have uh, Rabbi Uriel Vigler with us right now. He is the founder and director of Belev Echad, a foundation helping wounded IDF soldiers. Uh, Rabbi, can you talk about some of uh, your work that, that you've done for some of the soldiers over in Israel? So, you know, before October 7, we had about 500 wounded soldiers, under, 600 wounded soldiers under our care. And between October 7 and now, there are close to 2,000 soldiers that have been wounded. The wounds inflicted by Hamas are indescribable. This, this, we haven't seen these kind of work, wounds in 15 years of work. We've added already close to f- over 500 soldiers into our family. We've converted our facility in Kiryat Ono into a treatment center, where we're literally treating our soldiers with everything from facial therapy, physiotherapy, um, brains, brain, uh, hyperbaric pressure, pressure chamber, psychology, psych- psychiatry. There's so much we're doing on the ground, there's just so many soldiers that are being wounded every single day. Our team is visiting hospitals daily. You're helping so many. We actually have one of those soldiers uh, with us right now. Daniel Zaidman is an IDF soldier. He actually came face to face with Hamas terrorists that day. Uh, Daniel, can you tell us what happened? Wow, there's a terrible moment. I think uh, at this moment, uh, nobody knows what exactly happens. there's a it was a big chaos. It was a big uh, chaos, and then in the enter of Kibbutz Nativa Asara, the terrorists are uh, start to shoot on my my team. They shoot for minutes, and then after a few minutes, I pray for my life because my weapon didn't working, and I get and I can't get back at the fire. After a few minutes, the IDF uh, come to rescue me. And then uh, my life saving. But you, you happen to be hit, right? What? You were hurt. Yes, I'm hurt. And in the battle, in the battle, I got shot in my right hand. Um, I got a bullet and I got uh, for my body and for my eyes a lot of pieces from the car. I was sat in there and actually I was uh, for one month in the hospital, in Tel Shomer Hospital. But uh, right now I feel much better and I'm getting the powers from all the civilians here in America and from Israel that gives me a lot of power. Daniel, are you happy with this hostage deal that was struck this week? Actually, it's it's hard to be happy in these days, but we uh, we need to, you know, we need to look at the good things in our life because there is a lot of bad things. But this is your choice to choose what you want to look about, what you want to take with you about. So I choose, I choose to be happy. Rabbi, October 7th, going back to that date, it was such a terrible, devastating, um, awful moment for so many people around the world and in Israel. How is your organization helping those who were hurt that day? So, wow, we've been, we've been in oh, damn. Yeah. Rabbi? Yeah. Belev Echad is a great organization. Actually, I met them only two weeks ago. And then in a short time, they gave me a lot of hugs and love and support because the soldiers there, they know uh, what I what I have been and what situation I, I I was so they know how to help me with the best ways we have a big house with with an amazing people and and people that know what to do with people who hurt in the in the in the battle so they're amazing they lift me up lift me up and I feel much better right now. Thank, thank you, Daniel. We wish you a speedy recovery. Absolutely. No, 
We, we all re and we appreciate your bravery and, and thank you both for joining us this morning on National Report. Daniel Zaidman, Rabbi Uriel Ziegler, thank you. thank you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much.